pressure on our forests continuously affecting Uganda's climate. Uganda's leading privately owned university, Ndeje, decided to find alternative means of reducing the pressure on forests by investing in renewable energy as an alternative source of fuel. The Vice Chancellor Ndeje University now calls on students joining the institution to focus on using the environment as a resource. This university is to change the mindset of the learner. That when you come to university, it is not examinations you are looking for. It's not just the marks, but knowledge, acquisition of knowledge to be translated into useful, tangible material. For years, maize farmers in Deji have either been burning or throwing away their corpse after shelling. But this is now an important part in the latest innovation in the area. Ndeje University has set up a charcoal plant that aims at training students and local farmers on how to make charcoal from maize cobs. And what welcomes you to this plant is a warehouse filled with maize cobs that are collected from the neighborhood. Ndeje University has set up a charcoal plant that aims at training students and local farmers on how to make charcoal from maize cobs. After harvesting the maize, they only need the maize and then the cobs, they burn them, they dump them. So when we came up with this idea and then we mobilized them, told them we want these maize cobs, they, they saw it as we are relieving a burden from them. With Uganda being one of the leading maize producers in the region, farmers in Deji have not been aware of other benefits from their maize, apart from the maize grains and flour. Cobs are now a source of income and could in the shortest time become a booming trade in the area. So after putting this little maize cob, we set the fire. This is our charring drum, the carbonizer, the one we use to burn this maize cob in controlled air such that it doesn't turn to ash. So now this is the chimun, which uh, helps to increase the under pressure for the burning. The material we have inside is enough. So after filling that, we just pull out this chimney, put it aside, and then we bring the cover. So now after covering it like this, we give it some time, like one hour or one, 20, one hour and 20 minutes. And then later we shall come, remove this cover, and then pour out our material, which is the carbon we need. The university has designed different types of carbonizers to help produce charcoal briquettes on a large scale. This carbonizer, we do burn 16 times more than the small carbonizer we've looked at at first. And in this carbonizer, it's very uh, from our design and the test is very efficient. And uh, we need, we we'll get the material which is carbonized just at, the, at, at the maximum percentage. We want to get small particles, and these particles, those are uh, those particles. They are the ones we mix. After mixing them, we start our process of producing the briquettes. Ndeje village in Ruero district is one of the areas in Uganda where deforestation has been rampant with locals cutting down trees for charcoal burning. But this technology is expected to reduce deforestation as people will not need to cut down trees in order to make charcoal. Currently, a sack of charcoal ranges between 60,000 to 70,000 shillings and maize briquettes could be a better alternative. We give them some little penny, like they just collect for us and then we give them some little money for collecting the maize cobs and then they are very happy because they were just dumping them. Deputy Vice Chancellor Ndeje University who says in addition to the maize cobs, dry grass, dry leaves, boxes, peppers and all types of combustible waste materials can be alternative means of making briquettes and reduce pressure on the green cover. Energy is related to environment because when we cut so many trees, we destroy the environment. So when we discover or when we bring about innovations in the energy sector, we are saving the trees because energy is being got from wastes. Taco from maize corpse is considered relatively cheap, cleaner, safer and more efficient than the current fuel sources. We have noted that in Uganda, we are using very inefficient stores. Therefore, there is a high rate of destruction 
our forests. We have got people who manufacture bricks, they are using firewood. Those who cook, they are using inefficient stoves. So the depression is very, very worrying against the high level of demographic changes. People, are, the population is going up. We require for this briquettes to dry. Because, you know, when you train the local community, you train them, you can dry them under direct sunshine, but they will take a longer time to dry. And under this UV foil, it will dry for a shorter period of time. And then the quality is the same. This hole in the middle just helps us, or helps this briquette, to have um, much action around. And if you have this hole in the middle, when you put it in the sigiri, this holes in the middle helps even the air to pass through there, such that the burning move, uh, gets on well.